Company. For kids! Hello and welcome back to Try Kids TV. I'm your special guest host, Eli, and today we'll be using a doodly video. Today we'll be talking all about the sacred tradition of Tenebrae. Tena what? Tenebrae is a beautiful tradition of the church that takes place during Holy Week and dates back to the 5th century. Wow, that's really old! Tenebrae takes place over three days, beginning on the evening of Spy Wednesday. Spy Wednesday? That sounds really cool! Yeah, well not so cool when you realize that it's named after the day Judas Iscariot betrayed Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. But, there is a cool way to participate in Spy Wednesday at home by hiding 30 silver coins or quarters then having a little treasure hunt. Now back to Tenebrae. The word Tenebrae is Latin for darkness. The Tenebrae service features a unique triangular candelabra or candle holder called a hearse. When you hear the word hearse, you may be thinking of a long car used for funerals. The word hearse actually references the triangular shape of the candle holder. Originally, a funeral hearse was something that stood over the coffin and held candles. And the Tenebrae service is basically a funeral service for our Lord. In the Tenebrae hearse, there are 15 candles, 14 darker natural wax candles, and one white candle. Different saints have had different takes on what these candles represent throughout the ages. Some have said that the 14 candles represent Jesus' followers and the white center candle represents Jesus. Well, I only thought Jesus had 12 apostles. Well, yes and no. In addition to the original 12 apostles, there was also Matthias, who replaced Judas as one of the 12, and Paul, who was never a member of the 12. That would get us to 14. Other saints have said that 12 of the candles represent the original 12 apostles, and the other three represent the three Marys, Mary Salome, Mary Magdalene, and our Blessed Mother Mary and that the final candle, the 15th candle, could represent both her blessed mother and her son, Jesus, as their two hearts were so close, especially during his crucifixion. So now that you know a little more about the hearse and the significance of the candles used, let's get back to what Tenebrae is all about. Actually, to understand Tenebrae, we need to first understand the canonical or Roman church hours called the Divine Office or Liturgy of the Hours or Breviary. Lots of names basically describing the same thing, an official set of prayers for the hours of each day to help us keep our day holy and focused on prayer. You may also have heard other names for these liturgical hours derived from Latin. Matins and Lauds are the two earliest ones of the day. There's also Prime, Ter, Sext, nuns, vespers, and compline. We'll probably explain all of these more in another video. So now back to Tenebrae. The matins and laud of the divine office are sung during the Tenebrae services in the evening for the following day. 15 readings are sung. After each reading, one of the candles in the hearse is extinguished. This symbolizes Jesus' followers abandoning him one by one. At the end, Jesus the white cross candle is left burning and is hidden. Then, in the darkness, the silence is ended with a loud noise called the strepitus. The word strepitus is Latin for a gr great noise. The strepitus is typically made by slamming a book shut, banging in the pews, or stomping on the floor. It symbolizes the earthquake that followed Christ's death. It has also been described as the sound of Jesus' tomb closing. Then the last candle is returned, representing the light of Christ returning. Pretty cool, huh? I hope you enjoyed this doodly video all about Tenebrae. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos all about the traditional Catholic face. Thanks for watching and Deo Gratias!